What's going on champs and champets? It's Fire Monkey here and welcome to the V29.20 game update. There's quite a few cosmetics added to this update, including a lot of Avatar The Last Airbender stuff, so we're going to be going through everything here. However, I do want to kind of yap at the end of the video regarding something interesting that they changed about the locker UI. I will give you a little bit of a glimpse right now though. If you look down below here, and this is also in the item shop, rarities are gone. There's no more rarity in Fortnite. All the cosmetic rarities have just kind of been removed. The only ones that still exist are special rarities. So for example, if you look right here, you can see this doesn't have any rarity in the item shop but if we go to like the icon series cosmetics it does have an icon series set and if we go all the way up here by the way this isn't the currently active item shop and we look at star wars we have a star wars series as well but normal rarities are impossible to actually view in game now and it's a little bit of an odd choice that i just kind of want to bring up to you guys but firstly as we look through all the cosmetics we're going to start out with the outfits right here starting off with the ink skin you'll be able to get from the avatar elements event pass we also have the avatar state ink which is also another reward from the elements event pass as well Event pass will cost 1,000 V-Bucks, and of course, you know, you'll be able to earn all the cosmetics throughout completing it. But on top of that, we also got a few other collaborations from the Avatar, which you can see right here. We got this one right here. And I'm kind of just going to, you know, quickly go through everything, because I know you guys don't want to hear me yap for like 5 million years. But I am super excited about this collaboration, because it is a sick thing. I love this type of stuff, right? I love Avatar. I grew up on it, so seeing this in-game is something that's very hype for me. But after we've seen all the collaboration stuff, we also have some Fortnite original skins, like Toshiro right here, which doesn't... I can't really tell you the rarity or anything because you know it's impossible to see but we also have harpy haze which is going to be a level up quest pack or just some sort of quest pack in general maybe it'll give you v bucks we have the champion siren skin which is related to fncs 2024's theming right here with the red the black and blue now that is just you know pretty clean skin i know that they always do reskins for fncs but i do think they did this one pretty well we have apollo right here which has a super sick design i think they really went hard in this outfit and even stuff like how the hair is actually showing up here at the top and everything else I think was a super solid choice so that's nice to see in the game as well now we go over to the back and everything else we can see some new things like Apollo Sunrise right here we have the Earth's Rumble belt right here which if you actually check you can see it's an actual like belt type of thing going on we have the four elements banner with selectable styles for the water tribe the earth kingdom the fire nation and of course the air nomads we have ourselves the harpy wings right here which is going to go with that one harpy skin we just talked about we have the water skin back bling right here which is related to the avatar collaboration we have momo messenger and i think this is adorable i love this i'm gonna end up having to main some avatar skins just because of this right here which is reactive now, i'm not for sure how it's reactive but it is not marked as a pet so people can't actually go up to the back bling and pet momo but it is interesting to see how this back bling actually does exist i wonder if it's going to be reactive based on you downing people eliminating them or whatever else but it is still interesting to see we also have the Toshira's Carapace back bling right here, which I might have butchered the name, but hey, you know, it's still something we said, which if you look closely, you can see on the back there, there's the actual eyes, there's the actual creature on the back there, that's an actual creature as a back bling, and then we have the scabbard right here as a back bling. Now this one, you know, isn't too crazy, but it still matches the whole entire theming, and I like it. We have the Air Nomad staff right here, as you can see, we'll go ahead and swing it real quickly for you, if the locker UI doesn't mess up, it didn't, cool, alright. We have ourselves the Southern Water and Tribe Club which is another part of the Avatar collaboration. We have the Warhammers, a part of the collaboration. We have ourselves the Broadswords, a part of this collaboration. And then we also have the Space Sword, a part of this collaboration. Now, something interesting to mention is that Soka actually didn't end up releasing with this collab, so the only thing we really have of him is the Space Swords. So it's interesting to see that happening. Maybe we'll get a Wave 2 later down the line or something, but, you know, something I thought I'd quickly mention. They have Apollo Sunrise as a pickaxe right here, which I'll go ahead and swing for you guys. You can see it has a nice little Sunrise, like, hit effect. We have the Barbed Katana, which actually doesn't have too crazy of a hit effect. It's just kind of like a normal one. The Determination Daggers with kind of a normal hit effect as well. And then ending it off, we have the Star Shriek Pickaxe right here with a little bit of like a feathery hit effect. For the Gliders, we only have one this update, which is the Oppa Glider, which will be able to be earned for free by doing the events pass, you know, the elemental pass, and completing around five weeks of quest, which is very nice to see that, you know, we have a lot of time to do it. But we don't have any new Contrails or Auras. For emotes, we have the Ink's Air Spear emote right here, which is traversal, allowing you to kind of roll around the island, which I think is pretty cool. Now, this one doesn't really have too much of a crazy, like, animation, but it is a nice reference to Avatar, which I'm super excited for. We also have the Air Flurry emote right here, which is a little bit of a nice one related to Avatar and everything else. I'll just kind of let this one play through and everything. Even if you're using a non cell shaded skin, which I'll quickly show real quick for you guys, just put on Apollo and go back here, it will still have the shell shading on this actual emote right there, as you can see. So it could be an interesting way to kind of mix and 
match different emotes and, you know, different designs and shadings together to see if we can get some cool little screenshots if we do photography. We also have my cabbages right here, which I think is an amazing reference. If we just sit here for a moment, you'll see what I mean. As you kind of just sit here and showcase your glorious cabbages to the world, this effect will actually happen where you're starting to kind of, you know, try picking up the cabbages and put them back. Now, it will keep just looping that right there, but I do think it's a pretty nice reference if you know what the reference is. We also have this traversal emote, which is not related to Avatar at all, but is pretty nice, just related to, you know, a puddle hopper themed thing. When I was testing this on private servers, it appeared to be very fast, but I assume that's just a bug on the private server. But this is one of the traversal emotes you'll be able to use that will be sold in the item shop. We also have two new sprays being Avatar Aang right here. And of course, we have ourselves the Elemental Cycle Spray, but we also have two animated emoticons being baff Baffled Aang right here, which you can see kind of the uh, animation of. And then we have the Laughing Toph animated emoticon as well, which I think is pretty unique, right? Overall, I'm just a nerd for Avatar in general, so I'm hyped to see all that stuff being added. But before we actually talk about anything else this update, let's switch over to LEGO Fortnite and show you the LEGO versions of stuff. We have the Aang skin right here with the LEGO version. We have Apollo right here with their LEGO version. Pretty nice design, I gotta say. We have the Avatar State Ing as well, which you can see kind of like the whole entire design going on. We have ourselves the Championship Siren skin, which is the MCS skin this season. We have ourselves, for example, the Harpy Haze skin. You know, a lot of just generally decent things this update. And, you know, all the other Avatar collaboration stuff as well, which will quickly kind of, you know, scroll through everything for you to see. I do gotta admit, I am a big fan of how they've actually been making these LEGO designs and stuff, and I think they've been doing a really solid job. So I hope they continue it, right? But I wanted to quickly showcase all this stuff to you guys so you can get a generalized idea of everything you'll be able to obtain. But let's continue onwards by showcasing the new emotes. We have Avatar's Air Sphere, or I guess Aang's Air Sphere right here. You can see how that looks in the LEGO mode. We have this one right here, which is the Air Flurry emote. Once again, you can see how that looks in the lego mode and then as we go on and by the way i just got confirmation that removing cosmetic color tiers and names is an actual intended thing but we'll you know make another video about that later we got the my cabbages emote right here which you can see the animation of and everything else but we also have ourselves a the traversal emote at the very end which is the whole you know not avatar theme thing but just you know related to puddle hopping or whatever i think yeah puddle hopper right here so i'll let you guys go ahead and view this real quickly and then i will take a quick break to tweet some stuff out so yeah let me know in the comments down below what do you think about all these cosmetics and i'll see you in a very short moment where we look at even more stuff added this update now, with that said, let's go ahead and go to the other categories. In the background, you may have been hearing this faintly, but this is the Sky Surfer Neon Rush Remix Lobby Music Pack that you'll be able to earn for free for Rocket Racing Season 1, the whole entire Neon Rush themed thing. We also have some new loading screens as well, such as Downtown Drifting, which I'll go ahead and show you guys real quickly here, and I'll go ahead and hide my webcam. But that isn't the only one, because we also have, for example, Maisie Vibes as a loading screen for Fortnite Festival. And then we have this, the four elements loading screen for the whole entire Avatar Elements collaboration. And I'm super excited to see these different type of collaboration going on and to see this actual as a loading screen. But yeah, we get three new loading screens this update. We get a new lobby music pack. Now I would show you my banners, but it's kind of bugged right now. And we do have some other stuff going on as well. There's currently some Coachella instruments that are encrypted, but what's not encrypted is this Avatar X Fortnite guitar dra Dramian or Dram, however you say it, instrument with four different element styles. So we have the water version, Version, the earth version the fire version and the air version all of which you'll be able to use in fortnite festival and i think you're able to earn this from the event pass i'm not sure if it's a free tier or a paid tier but it is a nice reward to see for the actual cars right here we have some new decals such as the ang decal which was leaked before for the octane we also have this fluorescent decal which is actually for a rocket racing uh, starter pack that you have to purchase with real money we have the whip tail decal right here for the new fuse vehicle and then we have a few other decals right here you know all the normal stuff that you see generic when a new vehicle comes to the game for Fuse and Werewolf because the two new cars out of this update is the Fuse car right here which of course has different Fuse trims such as a golden trim for example but also your normal white one your yellow one everything else and of course you have different color variations so that's pretty cool to see and then we also have the Werewolf now the Werewolf doesn't actually have a golden trim at all but you know you still have a lot of ways to actually customize this car and I do think it can be made in a very interesting way you know using the front as kind of like a face or something just because it has a 
unique structure to it. We have the Chakram wheels right here with different variants as well, such as golden wheels and everything else, which is very interesting to see how they're putting that on some more vehicles. We also have, for example, the Ethereus wheels right here, which is basically our level up, or I guess, you know, ranked rewards the season, I'm pretty sure. Or it's like the Kickstarter quest, right? It's basically quest reward wheels for the season, and it is nice to see because I do think they look super duper clean, and it's like, finally, I have a wheel that isn't silver when I put titanium white on it. But that is the new wheels in the game. We have the binary trail from Rocket League making its way over into Fortnite. This will be sold in the item shop with all the color options, but also if you own it in Rocket League, you'll get those variants added to your inventory once the servers go up. And then for boost, we have the Tachyon boost right here with different color variations. I'll kind of show off some of these for you guys. And then we have an avatar collaboration boost right here, which is the avatar elemental boost. This one doesn't have any variants or anything, but it has a unique aesthetic going on for it. And I do admit it looks pretty cool. So with that said, that's basically everything out of this update. Let me know what champs and champets thought in the comments down below. And until next time, we'll catch you guys a little bit later with another upload. Peace out.